guys, it's Melanie and today I'm going to do a video on some of my latest crafty finishes. But I figured that I would show you, um, just keep you in the loop of what I've been working on. I'm actually going to film this video in two different uh, time frames. It's going to be one video, but um, I have some stuff ready to ship out. Um, to some friends so I want to ship that out so I'm going to do part of the video today and then over this weekend I'm going to be finishing up several other projects so then I'm going to film another little segment and put it into one video so that you can see everything I've been working on so one of the things that I need to ship out um, a friend of mine just had a baby and so I made this little baby lovey um, this is Kona solids and this is linen, and then the back is minky, so it's super soft. My kids always like to chew, um, like on the binding when they're teething. It, it's this quilt. It's called the Blue Wave quilt. Um, actually, it goes this way. This background fabric um, has words on it and little gray letters that say, um, "Believe in yourself. Be kind. Work together. A good friend. Um, be responsible. Help others." things like that. So um, it's for a friend who's having a baby. I I um, don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. And so I kind of made this thinking it might be a boy. But I don't know. What do you think? I might still send it to her anyway, even if it's a girl. I know it's a little boyish, but I don't know. I just I thought of her when I was making it. So let me just send it to her anyway. So this is the back with this gray also. So that's a finish, recent, a recent um, finish, um, and I'll have links below to like the blog posts. Um, if you are, if I'm going too fast, or you want to know what kind of fabric I used, or how I did any of this, these things, all of that's all on my blog. It's, it would take way too long if I explained all of that. And then this one, which was my big finish, I just finished this about a week and a half ago. Um, this is a queen size quilt. This is a swoon quilt um, made by Camille Ross Kelly, her Thimble Blossoms pattern, very popular pattern called the swoon. Um, and it's basically these stars. And there's nine different stars. It's very soft. Um, I free motion quilted it on my vintage machine. Um, I have a whole post about how I did all of that. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is on my guest bed. I made it specifically to go on my guest bed. So um, this was another finish, a recent finish. Um, and the other thing I want to talk about in this little segment is the crochet bow beanie that I make. If you follow me on Instagram, you have seen this. Um, this one is actually for my mom. She wanted one. She lives in Virginia, so she needs a, a hat. It looked really cute on. I was going to at the end of the video. I'll put it on so you can see what it looks like. I kind of like to wear it to the side. And last week I made a charcoal gray one for a girlfriend. So I'm constantly making these guys. So I thought I would show them to you so you could see how they look on. Um, yeah, so in the next segment, I'm gonna talk about um, my fall quilt, which is almost done. I just need like another half hour to finish it. And then my crafty blocks of the month, um, I'm gonna show you all of those. As well. Okay guys, so now for part two of my crafty finishes video. I have finished my crafty blocks of the month and my Halloween quilt. So, uh, and I haven't finished the Halloween quilt, but I have it basted and the top is done. So, um, here's the Halloween quilt first. Um, it's all basted together. So here's kind of an idea. I'll cut to a bigger picture that I did as well. Um, this is with Tula Pink's Nightshade fabric her fabric line and then I basically just took these cameos and framed them with other prints from her line. The background is just gonna, the back is just gonna be this uh, teal, this Kona cotton teal. Um, the whole thing is this color. So it's just a lap size quilt. Um, just something that I wanted to make um, that would be fun for my family to hang out with over the Halloween fall season. Um, but it's not exactly, you know, candy corn and pumpkins and all of that. So I thought it was going to be a fun addition. Next is my Craftsy Blocks of the Month. Normally I show these at the end of 
favorites videos um, for that month but I got a little bit behind and then I didn't do some favorites videos so um, I'll show you I think I haven't shown you July which was Dresden's this is a modern Dresden block um, here's another Dresden this is a traditional Dresden with these um, kind of like flower shapes petals so that was July August was stars so this is like an Ohio star. I guess this way is probably better. This is Heather Bailey fabric. Um, and then this is another star. It's like a double star. Uh, this is all Heather Bailey fabric also. And then, uh, let's see, September was curves. So these are Drunkard's Path. This curve with this like L shape is a it's called Drunkard's Path. Um, so that's one of them. And then here's a different kind of layout for a Drunkard's Path curve piecing for September. And then October, um, I just finished, is foundation paper piecing. Um, this was one. And the reason why it's paper piece is because it's really hard to cut pieces this exact and have it look nice. <laughs> so uh, if you do it, th this technique that we were doing, um, which was the first time I've ever done foundation paper piecing, was these. Uh, so it turns out kind of nice. It looks way more complicated than it actually is. This one I think is really, really fun. This is called Circle of Geese. And this was all done by foundation paper piecing. Um, so there's that and then I have all my other blocks of the month I'm just gonna run through them hold them up for you really fast just so you see all the blocks are done um, so next we'll be just putting everything together and doing sashing um, and quilting and of course I'll show you when everything is complete this one's better this way a lot of these you've already seen um, just in case I had, didn't show some of these to you guys. I know I showed the hexagon ones way back when. Um, so basically a crossy is a really great um, online sewing learning. They also have like um, baking and knitting and all sorts of stuff on there. And this is their free class, Crafty Blocks of the Month. Um, the other classes you have to pay for. But it was a fun way to learn some new techniques and then at the end of the time frame you get basically a finished quilt. So yeah, those are all the crafts blocks a month. Those are all the ones that we're going to be making. We made two for every month all the way up until October and then November, December will be, I don't know, sashing, quilting, binding, uh, basting, I guess, all of those other steps that go along with quilting. So anyway, um, those are my crafty, or my, those are my crafty blocks a month. So this whole video is my crafty finishes uh, that I've been working on over the summer. Let me know if this was a fun video for you to watch to see what I'm working on. Just personally, things that I am making around my own house. Um, of course, some of these are tutorials that I'm showing you as well, but not all of them. A lot of them are just things that I'm working on. So hope you guys like this video. Thumbs it up and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye.